Hey there and welcome, my name is Carlos Berts and let's start talking about what has been going on in the indie tabletop RPG scene. And as always, I'm not being directly sponsored by anyone mentioned here unless explicitly said or mentioned otherwise. Uh, some links may be affiliate links so that uh, they can benefit me without costing you anything extra, but either way. As always as well, all the links will be in the description together with some timestamps so that you can jump to the time of your preference. And this week, we start with the release of Alone Among Trees by Armanda, a member of RPG Latam, the Latin American tabletop RPG scene. It was released as part of the Legally Distinct Horror Jam, and it is a solo journaling game in which you are lost in a forest, which you do not have that great chances of survival, actually. It plays with a deck of playing cards and a d6, the six-sided die, and it is based on the game Alone Among Stars by Takuma Okada. Just note that the tone of the game is a bit desperate and gloomy dark, and with just a small sliver of hope. So death is stalking right around the corner and it is nipping at your heels. Check the game out. There is a huge campaign going on Kickstarter right now, you probably heard about it by now, that is Mothership 1st Edition Box Set. Mothership is a broadly acclaimed sci-fi horror tabletop RPG, and in it, your crew and you, uh, you are in outer space trying to survive. It is a rules-light system with rules for stress and panic, and a very easy system for character creation. The Kickstarter is still going on for something like 28 days or something like that after the, the release of this video and this time it is to bring a box set. There is an exclusive deluxe box set, set option as well if you want to go that route but even the regular box set has some changes from the edition 0 that is the edition that we have up until now to the current first edition. Oh, and there is also a tier that you can support with just full digital, so that uh, if you do not want a physical copy as well. So check the campaign out. Another campaign that is live right now is Fallen RPG by Perplexing Ruins. It is a supernatural tabletop RPG based on a world similar to our 17th or 18th century Europe mostly. It uses a classless D6 system, actually 2D6 system, for you to try and fulfill the mission that is to get the last archivist with knowledge of some damning evidences safely to the town. And you only have one silver bullet left. It features some amazing art. You can just check directly from the Kickstarter page, the art is breathtaking, and the idea right now is to fulfill the physical version of two books. One with the main rules and the system itself, and the second one with adventures, locations and more, like uh, an introductory solo adventure as well. It has a lot of uh, different collaborators, the list is on the Kickstarter page as well, and both of the version of books will have the breathtaking layout of Guilherme Gontijo. The campaign is already funded, but with some nice stretch goals on hand, and one of them is usually one of my pre favorites, or preferences, is that paying extra to the contributors as well. And you still have some 20 odd days to back it, so check it out. If it strikes your fancy, support this amazing campaign. And since we are talking about collective funding, there is an effort being put together known as SideQuest. This major event is created by designers and creators that are putting the effort together to fund different tabletop RPG zines during November. So it's running from the November 1st up until the end of the month, and it is originally inspired by ZineQuest, but in a much more decentralized way, meaning that you could be crowdfunding in any platform of your choice. The idea here is to have an initiative put together by creators in which they can help each other out. At least for me, it fits very nicely with the indie spirit and the indie idea, and the initiative will aggregate all participating projects on its website to make it easy as a one-stop shop as well as having their own logo that they are participating on the side quest. 
and the projects they have the creators to collaborate and share both projects so look for side quest logos and projects throughout all the month of november as i certainly will and help the indie scene and their initiatives because this is the whole spirit of the indie community one example of such projects is meanwhile in the subway by com martin it is a standalone game but can also be used as a scenario for other games like troika or electric bastion land it is a whimsical light-hearted title and when played as a standalone game, it can be used as a one-shot of approximately two hours or a longer campaign if you prefer. There is an English and a French version in case you are interested as well. And you can check it out. It is uh, 40 odd pages or something like that with a lot of interesting ideas on them. Also on initiatives coming from the indie scene in a way, Tabletop Mentorship Program has an open call right now for micro-grants towards underrepresented creators. What is a micro-grant? It is a grant of $100. They have three grants, uh, three slots open each month, and it is a very short application, free for applying and open worldwide. I heard amazing things of their other projects and other programs like the mentorship program itself and it is another great initiative coming from them consider applying if you are a creator from underrepresented communities scenes identities if you are an underrepresented creator okay on gems i will mention the legally distinct horror gem that we talked earlier from the first project mentioned today. It is still going for a bit over a week, I guess 10 days or something from when this video is live. And the idea is to submit games that are based, inspired or related to horror properties. The original idea was about movies, but it can be anything like the one mentioned here that was based on another horror game so you can make games based on other properties you can submit pre-existing games that fit the criteria but the idea is to try and motivate people to create something new a new title so perhaps you can give it a try if not you can also and i always suggest that you can check the jam for the submissions and see something that fits strikes your fancy because you can be looking for something specific, a genre or something like that, and gems are really a great place to find it. On articles, this, this week we are trying this amazing post by Prismatic Wasteland that takes a very deep dive into the basic procedure of the OSR, uh, post-OSR, uh, classic games and all of that and it studies how it works, how this basic procedure, which is the core of the game, works, how it can relate to story games, for instance, and what are some things that can be learned from story games as well. Because you can always try and improve or change your designs, getting inspiration from other ones, okay? Check it out, it is a great read, even if you are not a game designer, just to kind of understand how everything is working on on the systems that you play. For this week, I believe that's it. If you like the video, like the damn video, share, subscribe, you know how internet works, let me know in the comments what you are liking about the series, what you are disliking about the series, all of that, not just the series, today's episode and everything. And you can pay me a coffee on coffee. you can buy my games on itch.io, and I will see you all in my next video. So, see ya!